is Lost in Five Minutes Down, and I'm bringing you guys a new gameplay from the new map pack. And I know I said I wasn't gonna buy it, but you know, here's a funny story. Okay, so my friend told me that this kid bought Microsoft points accidentally, only for especially made for Guitar Hero. So I was like, wait a minute, what? You, especially made for? I don't, I didn't know they made those. So I was like, oh yeah, man, definitely like. He accidentally bought him trying to change his name, which is stupid in the first place. So I was like, oh yeah, just send me the code or whatever. So he sent it to me. I get 1600 Microsoft points and you know, I just bought Annihilation map pack. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to tell the kid though, because I'm sure that would crush him to know that he just gave me 20 bucks. But so it all worked out for the best, you know, for me, not for him. He seemed, you know, perfectly fine with it anyways. I just don't know why you would even think that, like... Maybe he bought one of those cards with, like, the Guitar Hero symbol on it. I don't even know. Anyways, this was probably, like, I think my third uh, game on this map. And this map, you know, advertised as Nuketown, like, version 2. Not even close, but honestly, I like this map a lot better than Nuketown anyways. Just because, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just pretty much circling the map over and over with my Marathon Pro. And I'm rushing the shit out of these guys. And it's pretty epic, you know, it's pretty epic gameplay, it's not too long, I like recording team death matches instead of domination because, you know, they're not that long, you don't really run out of things to talk about, and everything just, you know, your commentary just kind of flows. Also, I hope this isn't as cloudy as my last one, kind of like, you know, you know how the commentary was kind of screwed up in the last one, but, yeah, you know, I just hope it's not, see, that was just like one of those, you know, little, like, brain farts, because I'm watching the gameplay, I'm thinking, you know, should I commentate about the gameplay, because honestly, I really don't know what's going on, but my killstreaks this match were the Napalm Strike, Blackbird, and Gunship. Gunship is something I've been missing so much since uh, I started just playing Ground War 24-7, and I really haven't got to use it at all because of the glitch that's been going on, and a lot of people don't know what the glitch is it pretty much is just like um like when you call it in half the time you just like can't fly it and it just like circles the map in an erotic pattern to where you can't get like any kills from it so it kind of sucks and that's why i never use it in ground where i always go with dogs but this gunship this gunship right her this gunship is a beast you will just see what i'm talking about i mean just, just, just wait for me to press that right D-pad, and shit just goes down. Just from that one click of the right D-pad, their game just, their entire day just goes from happy, fun time to just crap. Total garbage, like puking on a fucking dog turd. That's how bad their day must have been after I got done destroying these guys in this gunship. I know it starts off a little slow, but trust me, it'll pick up. And, uh, yeah, sorry about no, um, video yesterday. I was working yesterday a lot, and I don't mean, like, working like, oh, yeah, I'm getting money so I can save up for a freaking computer. I mean, working like I'm helping my dad out in the hundred and, uh, yeah, it was about 105 degrees yesterday, which is technically today, but I'm going to post this tomorrow, so it's yesterday. You know, I'll just go with that. And, yeah, you can see I'm just destroying these guys in this gunship right now. They just don't have anything to do, especially for a 6v6. It's definitely rapage. Like, if it was in a ground war, you know, it'd be pretty, it'd still be pretty good rapage, but not, like, to this extent of rapage. This is, like, complete rapage. Like, you don't even know. And I, I really do love this kill streak. It's just phenomenal. You can see I get out of this thing. I'm 30 and 1, and, like, I'm saying to myself, oh, yeah, I got a YouTube, you know, I got a YouTube video to come up. And I was just, like, telling my friend, I was like, okay, no, let's just. I'm just not going to try and screw this up. I'm just going to try my hardest not to screw this up. But, you know, that that just happens to me. I get unlucky whenever I go on a big streak, so now I'm 31-1. and one. But, you know, stuff's not going to go very good for me. Um, you, I mean, I could have gotten a 32-31-1 if I just camped this out. But, you know, that's not what I'm about. You guys know, you guys know that's not what I'm about. I'm about rushing and, you know, massacring. But of course, you know, after I get out of those big kill streaks, I I just can never uh, seem to like get back together. And you know what? That didn't that wasn't even close to me. But anyways, that's why it, like I never really pull together these like hundred kill games because I can never like keep getting kill streaks in the match. Like all I can go like two matches in a row getting eight, nine, eleven. But I don't usually like almost ever get two eight, nine, elevens in one match. I'm not sure why that is. 
but I just can't. And you'll see me die, like, that last death I had, I ducked and that guy just shot the air above me and killed me. That was another classic example of B.O.B., Black Ops bullshit, the terminology I made up, to where, like, I'm just shooting in a big pile of guys and I'm not getting any hit markers. But anyways, I do end up getting the last, the game-winning kill, and we won the game 7,500 to 3,300 thanks to my gunship and my delicious gunship skills. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary. Uh, I actually enjoyed making it this time, you know. Sometimes it's not so enjoyable, but this time it was. I think the <clears throat> final score was 33-4. and four. I was playing with my friend Sam, and he did fairly well too, so shout out to him. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Peace.